Hey friends, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Donna and today I'm participating in hashtag what's for dinner y'all. This is an open collaboration hosted by Kimmy's Kitchen and more. And Kimmy, along with Lois over at Life with Lois, they also host a crock pot casserole open collaboration on Tuesdays. It's not Tuesday, but I'm going to go ahead and link all that information anyway. So what's for dinner is in my crock pot. I have a whole chicken in my crock pot. I cut up in a big chunks, in the bigger chunks, an onion. I added a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of chicken broth. I rubbed the chicken with some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, I think some sage. I think that was it. Put it in there and then I added a couple of dabs of butter on top. It's on low. It's going to cook about seven hours. The trick with chicken in the crock pot is you don't want to overcook it and you don't want to undercook it. You want it just right for it to be tender and not mushy. So I find by adding the extra moisture with the broth, the butter, a little bit of olive oil, I think that helps. So it's probably going to be, like I say, about seven hours could do it on high for about four hours. That would work too. And we are going to be eating off this chicken for quite some time. I'm embarking on another diet. I'm always starting a new diet, it seems like. And I also made, let's see here if you can see it, a big old salad. So we'll be snacking on this as well. It has some romaine lettuce, some snap peas, some walnuts, some sun-dried tomatoes, cucumber, mushrooms, onion. No tomatoes, but we have the sun-dried tomatoes in there. I do have a couple tomatoes that we can chop on and um, chop on, chop up and put on as we eat the salad. I don't like to put the tomatoes in the salad unless they're cherry tomatoes. And then, of course, you probably all know this trick to keep your salad fresh and crisp, add a crunched up paper towel and then close it airtight as best you can and store it and it'll stay crispier and fresher much longer so burp that air out and i just thought i would show this kathleen over at design and lifestyles which i think she closed her channel i don't see her so i was going to link her but maybe if she comes back i'll come back and link her anyhow she had um, reviewed and recommended these bars the keto nix peanut chocolate they are swedish style lower carb bars so i picked up a few of those to try but yeah, it's gonna be chicken and salad for a few days and that's what's for dinner, y'all. And that's what's happening in the crock pot. So everyone have a great night and I'll check in later, bye guys.